And now hello everybody, welcome to another Quick 60 here. And today we're here with the second of our two women's basketball seniors, Sydney King. So Sydney, good to have you on. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> Sydney is from Birmingham, Alabama. Happy to have her. Uh, played at McGaddery High School in the 9G after that. Um, so again, we're pleased to have Sydney in this program. So without further ado, Sydney, your Quick 60 is on. <laughs> the music that you listen to before the game? Um, it all depends on how I'm feeling that day, I guess. Like, I listen to everything from country all the way to rap. Yeah. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. I'm more of a hip-hop and rap guy, but I like hip-hop, rap, R&B, some right. country, some different things. All right, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, one word to describe teammates and coaches. I would say goal-oriented. Um, I would say that because I feel like we all have the same mindset and goal to get to where we want to be this season, which is winning the national championship. But you know, it takes steps to get there. So we're taking it one step at a time. So I would say we're both oriented. Um, how's it felt having uh, the success that you've had, not only this season, but the past two seasons since since you've come here? Um, it's actually been pretty good. Um, I'm not used to being at a program where they, they win, they take pride in winning. So it's completely different, but I've enjoyed it. And I love being here at Shawnee. Uh, what was it like going to McAdory High School and then at IMG? Obviously, McAdory is very famous because that's <laughs> Bo Jackson's old high school for sure. That's a lot um, of people that. It's, it was different. Um, I feel like IMG taught me, you know, the importance of competition. And it was different because it was kind of like college. Right. And at McAdory, um, I had a coach who coached football, so it was like different, you know, actually going to a place where basketball meant everything from. You know, playing for someone who coached football, so it was different. But I enjoyed the experience. Uh, how has the Shawnee State experience been for you? Oh my gosh, I love it here. Um, the culture, you know, is upbeat. They're always positive. Um, like I said before, um, this program is driven on winning, and I think that's a big part of why I'm here because I want to win. And Coach Nickel and the team takes pride in that. Who, uh, who's your inspiration? Um, I would say my, my best friend. Um, she actually couldn't play basketball after her sophomore year in college because she got hurt. She tore her ACL three times and then she also wow. had arthritis in her knees. And honestly, I do it for her. She always tells me all the time, I wish I could play. So, you know, I play for her. Who's your best friend? What's her name? Um, her name is Maya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that's uh, definitely shout out to her for braving through injuries, trying to make right. that work and definitely pursuing better things in life. Um, well, how did you get into basketball? When did you? Um, how did I get into basketball? My dad forced me. <laughs> he always <laughs> forced me to play, but um, I loved it because he loved it. And after you know playing over the years, I loved it even more. You know, I played different sports in high school from volleyball, basketball, track. I did it all. So um, I, I felt more in love with basketball because it was more close to him too. And uh, I started playing when I was like six. I played brick <laughs> ball at the YMCA. So that's how it all began. <laughs> um, then what do you hope to accomplish this season? Um, I hope to go all the way, honestly. You know, being ranked number seven in the nation, that's a big accomplishment. You know, a lot of people don't get to do that or have the opportunity to play for a team that's ranked that high. Um, hopefully we win the national. <laughs> championship that's our goal that's what we want to do but we got to start with the conference tournament and hopefully that we win that and keep going forward you know last year we got knocked out the second round we made to the sweet 16 right. so hopefully we can pass that and once we pass that hopefully we could go all the way um you know finally wasn't me to return home and be able to play your uh, family oh yeah it's exciting um my family is talking about it they can't wait to see me play so usually when they come to town or they come to a game, I always show up and show out, so hopefully it will be a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sydney, thank you so much for being on with thank us. You. We appreciate thank you for it so much. Me. Absolutely. <laughs> um, make sure to catch the women. The Shawnee Sports Net will not be down at Life in Cumberland, Tennessee this weekend, but you can catch any recaps um, on SSUBears.com. So thank you guys again for tuning in to another edition of Quick 60. Thank you. <laughs>